And let's talk about why traveling by RV is better than traveling by plane. So number one, security. You don't have to go through security when you're driving your RV. You just get in your RV and you go. You don't have to check your bags either. You just put your stuff in your rig and you go. Much better than flying on a plane. I'll give you a few other reasons why traveling by RV is much better than traveling by plane. So another reason traveling by RV is better than plane you don't have to take your shoes off if you don't want to. Why I think RVing is better is because like it's more spacious and you actually can walk around. But on a plane, you have to sit down and you actually have to buckle a seatbelt. In an RV, you don't. And sometimes you have to sleep on a plane and it's very uncomfortable. And then if you sleep in an RV, it's very comfortable. Here's another thing, waiting in line. It's quite the line. So we are in Old Town, Kissimmee, Florida, and it is cold for Florida right now. I don't know what's up with that, but having to break out the sweatshirts and jeans. So we're just gonna check out this Old Town, uh, downtown Kissimmee area, and just kind of check out what all is in this area. We've not ever been here before, so come with us and we'll show you what there is. So this whole area is just kind of known for just car enthusiasts. So you have people that will come down here and put their cars on display and different nights of the week, they have different types of nights where people just will bring their cars down or come kind of cruising and driving around. But uh, that's kind of what the thing to do here is, is to come take a look at all the cool cars. I ran some person. Trinity, come follow me. I got quarters. Oh, did you see the live music? That's kind of fun. And the tree, the tree is really pretty too. Did you see the tree? Mm -hmm. And look at how. The tree has like license plates on it from different states. It's really cool. Oh, it's freezing. Is it cold? It's freezing. This is for sure my favorite. These are different color purples. It's true. This year, Paint Cop take first place at the Mid State Fair. <laughs> that is back in 1942. Have you ever tried boiled peanuts? I have not tried boiled peanuts. They they don't taste like peanuts. It almost tastes like a like a bean or whatever. I don't know. I'm not a fan, but if you want to try some boiled peanuts, there you go. So today we are going to Epcot. We just went to Spaceship Earth. 
which is a very cool ride because it's all about communication and the kind of evolution, if you will, of communication, um, both in language form, but also no. in written form, which when you think about that is super important because if you don't have a written form of communication, then you didn't have things like books or any of those things. And to think about it from a futurist perspective, how now we've evolved to things like, you know, email and other forms of written communication, texts. Whoever would think that we would have been sending text messages 20 right. years ago. So I think it's just a fun ride to go on and think about the evolution of communication, but then also how is communication going to advance in the future? Absolutely. Will I be able to read his mind? Getting coffee? Getting caffeinated. <laughs> so, so this pin here, do you want to tell dad what it's about? So it's taking like a ticket and you could um you could actually so the so you so like this is like a ticket, so like you could only ride this ride and that ride. You could so only when, ride those. When Disney first opened you didn't have just, you know, a ticket into Disney to ride all the rides. You would have a ticket that would be for specific rides. And if you wanted to ride other rides, you had to like basically buy more rides on those rides when it very first opened. So that pin is like a replica of what the ticket would have been for those few rides. So it's kind of like a cool little collectible thing. The pin traders, when you trade, you can do what's called a blind trade. So they have some pins you can see, but they have other pins where you got, just see the back. I got this from a blind trade. I hate it. And so if it's a blind trade, you don't know for sure what you're going to get. So that pin was a blind trade. And then I got this Stormtrooper helmet on a blind trade, which is kind of fun and cool. So that one was a good trade. She, The Pinocchio one on the blind trade, she didn't think was that great. But the nice thing about that is you can find it their pin trader and trade that off. Hi. Hi. Do you think you can eat that whole donut by yourself? Yes, I can. I know I can. <laughs> I'm hungry. I know they will. I'm finishing mine. I know it. I'll bet you bad. I don't think you can eat that whole thing. I bet you I will. All right, we'll see. So you want help? You're happy. You're happy. Here, are you happy about the donut? No, half. just give me a bite. Look at the donut. You're happy. You're happy. You're happy. You're happy. You're happy. Mom, can you finish the donut? Mmm. If you want more, just tell me. Dad, can you finish? Can I throw this away? How you doing? It's coming along. I gave the other eat half to you. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Yeah. Take it. It's yours now. You want? It's mine now. Yeah. Mom, look at that. Bird. I'm not hungry. I thought you were gonna eat it all. Dad saw it. <laughs> so we're going to go down to the Critter Crossing and see how many paw prints that we can find. Oh, white-tailed deer. Wait, there's two traps right here. What is it? What do you see? Right here and here. What do you think those are? I don't know, actually. I know, that's a pig. It's a bear? No. 
Oh, yeah. Fish. What's that smell? So now we're in England and that smell, you wanted to know what the smell was? Yeah. That smell would be fish. Oh, yuck. Yeah, fish and chips. Yeah. You know what fish and chips are? What? Fish and chips are like fried fish and french fries. They call french fries chips in England. So if you get chips, it's not really chips, it's french fries. And if you get, if you want what we call chips, then they call them crisps. So it's not chips or fries and crisps or chips. So now we are in Morocco. So I am starving right now and the smells of all of this Middle Eastern food are like just totally making my mouth water. So we're gonna keep moving because I want to find something and it's a little bit healthier, but man, this is making me hungry. So we're hearing like this celebration. We're gonna come check out what it is. It looks pretty fun. There's a high rail right there. There's a diesel, hidden, and then there's also a monorail. I think a monorail. See, there's, and there's a locomotive. There's a locomotive. See locomotives. See if we can find some healthy beer in China. We'll see how healthy that they are in China. There you go. So we are here at the largest theme park in all of the world. This theme park is over 580 acres in size. <laughs> behind me is the tree of life and it is a 150 foot tall tree obviously you can see from the engravings on it that it's not a real tree but it is a man-made tree and it's beautiful so this is kind of like the hub of animal kingdom a lot of different shows happen right here but it's also a great landmark if you are meeting guests or something like that you can just tell them to meet you at the tree of life it's very obvious where it is and it's a big, huge, beautiful replica of um, a baboa tree. So just went to the animation experience and it was a, actually a really cool experience. So they taught us how to draw Timon, the meerkat. And so they gave us some instructions and step by step, I actually drew this. <laughs> so it was actually a really cool experience and uh, learned a lot about meerkats that one, they're not cats, two, they eat scorpions, so they're pretty vicious animals. So a few thoughts about our day here at Animal Kingdom. 
One thing is, is if you choose to visit here and you're looking for a Disney experience with rides and those types of things, this is probably not your best park for that. Uh, they do have some rides, but there's really long wait times at most of the rides just because there's not as many of them here as there are in the other parks. And this is really more of an animal experience. So if you are a person that enjoys things like zoos and nature preserves, then this is definitely the park that you want to come see. This particular park, Animal Kingdom, has actually been certified by several different governing organizations that do govern zoos and aquariums so that you know all of the animal habitats and all of the animals um, as far as their care is concerned is just top notch and they're accredited by these organizations that just help govern uh, animals that are kept in captivity to make sure that they're being well cared for, that they have a habitat that is sufficient for them to meet their needs. So a great place to come see all of the animals if that is the experience you're looking for. So Expedition Everest, oh my goodness, if you come to Animal Kingdom, you have to go on Expedition Everest. And here's the tip, if you come, actually go on an after dark, it's way better if you go on an after dark much more intense. So these bamboo trees behind me are really, really cool. When they put together this park, they actually imported over 37 different seeds from other areas around the world to plant the plant life and the tree life that is here at Animal Kingdom here at Disney. And so again, anything Disney does, they just seem to do with a lot of excellence. And this is a great example of just another one of the things they've done. All of the vegetation here is just super lush and green and it's just a truly amazing experience. So we're standing in line to meet Pocahontas. So this really feels like an open air African market. There's all of these different things that are sale and as you walk through it just feels so um, authentic, like you're just walking through a market in Africa, it's very, very cool. So we were going to jump on the Tower of Terror in line and they completely shut the whole ride down. Everybody had to get off. We saw all the employees walking out and now they've got it roped off, so not sure what's going on. But the nice thing is, is that when something like that happens, if you've got the fast pass, you basically get a replacement. So we went over and rode the rock and roller coaster again instead because uh, we had that replacement fast pass. So the nice thing that Disney does is if you do have kind of a negative experience on one ride, they compensate you by letting you go through the fast pass line for a different ride. We have about 25 more minutes till we get into the fast pass line. Take a pit stop here. This wasn't here, so we haven't been here in a couple of years. And this is new since we've been here. All the Toy Story land is new. And the Galaxy's Edge is all new since we've been here last. So there's a lot of fun new things that they have. The only thing that's not fun is obviously the crowds. But again, we're here over Christmas break that probably is not the best time to come as far as crowds are concerned. So you've got that, you're gonna have that probably anytime, but you can always do research and see maybe there's a less crowded time to come. But 
happened to be when it worked out for us. So we're here, Christmas break. It's a little crowded, but it's a lot of fun. Perfect, thank you. We are on a quest to find some chips. And it's we a big found some, but way not worth it. Yeah, it's totally, totally not worth it. You want to get up on my shoulders? Oh. All right. Okay, can we go find somewhere else? So we're gonna go look somewhere else for some chips. All right. She's turning me. Why All right, she? this way. Okay, let's go. Okay, don't run into the. You're a crazy pickle. driver. Um, kind of. Hello. Do you guys have chips here? Any chips? No, no chips. Dad, okay. You actually gotta look around. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I see a place. I see it. All right. I hope oh. you don't drive like this when you're 14 or 15. Have a license. I see it. Are you I gonna be a crazy driver? No. 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 I. Oh jeez. Look at. Oh my gosh. Do you find did you find some chips? There's a hot dog. Yeah. Do you hot see the chips? Oh. They have chips. Do they have chips? Okay. Success. Ooh. I could do this forever. I'm kind of hungry for snacks. Do you need two bags of chips? Yep. One for one. I might save for a snack. Hey, you guys have chips? Yes, we do. Can we get two bags of chips and a Mickey pretzel? Look what we found. We found them. Chips! chips. <laughs> Are you having fun? Yeah. What's your favorite part about the park? Probably Slinky Dog Dash. Yeah, that was fun. Uh-huh. I had my hands up most of the time. The mission is to find like a little shop, kind of like those pin shops. Okay. Let's go. Do some pin trading. Yeah. All right, let's and do this. And get some more countries. Sweet. That is my goal. Pin traders can be anywhere. I've seen one in the bathroom. Okay. Thank you kindly. Oh. Nice. We're gonna get ourselves some chicken and waffles for dinner. I like waffles. So, you know. Disney food is not always the healthiest in the world, but, but it's awesome. We're gonna call today a cheat day on the healthy eating. Chicken and waffles it is. leaving the rental car. We're gonna head into the airport. Sad day. Everybody's sad. Wait, wait, wait. Ten, we're 10 pounds over weight on our bag. So now what we're trying to do is move items from this bag. Now we're, you know, we're good here. So now we need to figure out how to close this. All right, Dakota, let's see if we can do this. I don't think it's gonna work, personally. We're gonna find out. Think we can do this? Sit on the back. Okay, ready? Sit. I think we can do it. Actually, it might be better if I sit up here and you zip it, but. Yes, it would be better. Think... All right. Looks like we're figuring this out here. Looks like we're figuring this out, right? Sometimes you have to pray to the Lord. Yeah, that. That's what I did. And have a little common sense and a little will well, um, and a little luck. Well, I also 
also have a little bit of a crisis here. So my bag won't fit. So I need you Reason 564 at this point, why traveling by RV is better than plane. Just saying, don't have to deal with this mess. So reason 10,694, why traveling by RV superior to flying. You don't have to wait for bags. You always have your bags with you. It's late right now. It's this is 1123. It's not 1123. It is. It says 1123. No, it's midnight. It's late. Late right now. I swear. It's gotta be late. If it really is 1123, now I'm like thrown for a loop. But either way, that's another reason. Like the time change, I swear, is not so severe. It's not instant. You don't go from two hours in one time zone. Like two hour time change in one day just doesn't happen when you're traveling by RV. It's much, much better. I hate flying.